Public invited to enjoy the tree lighting ceremonies. Hundreds participate in games at the library and educational upgrade for protective services. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Scarborough Botanic Garden will sparkle this evening with the annual tree lighting ceremony set to begin. The public will witness the event, which will include performances from various musical groups starting at 6 p.m. as Tobago Day celebrations continue. A second tree lighting ceremony will take place at the Louisville Nursery on Saturday. And if you can't make it for the official ceremonies, the lights will be on every evening during the Christmas season, which ends on January 6, 2016. Scarborough's tree lighting has been a tradition for the past 11 years. The annual ceremony at Louido began just seven years ago. Members of the protective services in Trinidad and Tobago are getting a boost to their academic background. Josan Brassi reports. The Ministry of National Security is collaborating with COSTA to strengthen the leadership roles and responsibilities within various armed forces. COSTA senior lecturer Mr. Clayton Blackman said a two-year associate degree scholarship is allowing officers with 10 to 20 years experience and who were suddenly promoted to achieve the necessary skills to manage and motivate subordinates effectively. It will assist in having their middle managers well equipped to deal with their subordinates. It was more of a, I wouldn't say an experiment, but something whereby you had a lot of officers at the, were getting promoted, especially in the police, and they were not prepared to deal with their subordinates as far as management is concerned. Police officer Terence Santana tells us more on his experience as a student. Now I had a wider array of, of principles to look at and when you deal with people in that way you, you have a better understanding and a bet, you have a better respect for them and the environments that they come from and you have a better respect for their personalities. Mr. Blackman thanked Chief Secretary Mr. Orville London for his continued support and for sharing his wealth of knowledge of the public service with the students. I'm Josanne Brassi for Info Update. A library is often seen as quiet, serious, and full of books. But for those who don't love reading, it can also be fun and exciting, especially when it's time to play games. Omodaro Mills reports. Life-sized snake and ladders, hopscotch, video games. These activities aren't typical at a library, but over 300 people enjoyed these games, along with various tabletop favorites like Scrabble and Monopoly. They were hosted by the Scarborough Library Facility to celebrate the International Games Day at Your Library event. Librarian 1 for the adult library, Melissa Laptis, says that apart from all the excitement, the games have significant benefits. A person can improve on their problem-solving skills, their memory. Even chess works helps to prevent or improve persons with uh, suffering from Alzheimer's. It works the both sides of your brain. Scrabble does wonders for improving your word building, your spelling, even numbers. The library's public relations officer, Shahida Sylvester, says that the games catered to all age groups and many people are looking forward to the next one. We had a wonderful turnout and a wonderful response. Persons asking when, when is the next game activity. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's next day, International Games Day. Next day, it would be celebrated on November 19th. The Scarborough Library Facility joined the libraries around the world to celebrate the event, which started eight years ago. I'm Omodara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers, and you've been listening to Info Updates. Come celebrate Tobago Day with us as the journey continues. You are invited to Joyful Joyful, a free praise and worship concert on December 2nd at Shaw Power Complex at 9.30 a.m., immediately followed by a two-day exhibition where you can win a 55-inch smart TV. See Press for Details or tha.gov.tt for more activities.